Hello everyone, welcome to another video at Watchtower Examination. This happens to be the second time in a row when I came in directly from church and just went before the camera. And it dawned on me that last week I never quite finished a thought that I started. I explained that I was very tired but had to do a video but never explained what all of that was about. I live in Montego Bay, Jamaica. I went to another town. Montego Bay is in Western Jamaica. I went to Mandeville, Central Jamaica, where my group sang at Northern Caribbean University. So we came back pretty close to midnight and I was really tired, but had to do that video. I mentioned I was tired. I mentioned it was close to midnight, but never really quite explained what all of that was about. So when you saw me in my tie last week, that I was actually in my uniform for the group with whom I sing. Today, Again, I am just coming in from church. This time it is not near midnight. But like last week, as I was on my way home, I was thinking about doing a video. As I walked home this evening, I thought about doing a video. A strange video. A video in which I am saying, Thank you, Watchtower. Thank you. Have you ever heard it said? that when you lack something, you come to appreciate when others lack even more. For example, you might have heard it said of the man who was complaining that he had no shoe until he saw the man who had no feet. Motivational speaker Les Brown spoke about a special individual, a gentleman who said, I was complaining that I had no shoe until I saw the man who had no class. One of the services that I've always enjoyed the most is the communion service. Witnesses call it the memorial service. I just love it. Every time I endure, I went through, why did I even say endure? <laughs> because it's something I really so much enjoy. Every time I go through a communion service, I feel as if I've been taken to a new spiritual high. It's always something when you get a chance to really ponder the sacrifice that Jesus made. When you think about his amazing grace. Today, as I participated in another communion service, I appreciated it much, much more as I pondered what witnesses do not have. So I want to say thank you, Watchtower, for helping me to appreciate the communion service even more. I realize just how special it is when I think about a group of people who call themselves Christians who do not know the joy of participating in what Jesus commanded us to participate in, in remembrance of him. But I'm saying thank you, Watchtower, tonight for more than just that. I want to say thank you so much, Watchtower, that your evangelistic thrust, your preaching work is not very effective in my country and in my community. Because if you were very effective in the preaching work, then maybe a kingdom hall would have been available in my community. You see, the story is, as children, my sister and I decided that we want to go to church. We're not from a Christian family. Neither parents go to church. My siblings do not go to church. But my sister and I, as children, decided we want to go to church. And our parents were in support of that. And there was a Jehovah's Witness who lived above us. And he was so happy to hear, and he offered to take my sister and I to the Kingdom Hall. And we went, we went for about two or three weeks. And it was lovely, really lovely. And we would have continued going except it was too far. We had to walk over two miles to get to that kingdom hall because there was no kingdom hall in the community of Granville. So we had to walk to the community of Irwin 
nearly two miles, to go to the Kingdom Hall. And so my sister and I decided, it's too far, so we settled for the Baptist Church, which was in our community. You see, had it not been for that experience, probably I would have been a Jehovah's Witness myself. Probably I would also think that I am not anointed and so I should not participate. So thank you, Watchtower, for the ineffectiveness of your ministry that there is no Kingdom Hall in my community. Because chances are, one never knows, it is possible that I would be awake like many witnesses are today when I examine the teachings But when I think about other possibilities, there are so many witnesses who, when they leave that organization, they become atheists or agnostics because after spending all their lives thinking that they are in the truth and that it was impossible to find the truth in Satan's system of false religion, I would probably see every single church out there as false and therefore would never align myself with one if I happened to be one of the fortunate ones who discovered watched our lies, but unfortunate enough to no longer believe in God. So I say thank you, Watchtower, for making your preaching work not effective enough that there is a kingdom hall in every community in my country because I might have been a victim Thank you for helping me to appreciate how fortunate I am. Every time I see these videos presented by former witnesses, sometimes it pains my heart. And this is the reason I'm subscribed to so many XJW's channels. I love to hear their stories. I, it, it is difficult at times to imagine what they go through. Sometimes I wish I could say I understand what you're going through, but I can't because I've never experienced it. So I can only imagine. But I thank God for them. I thank God for their testimony, for their witness that is helping other witnesses to see what they're involved in. And very, very importantly, helping others who might have considered joining that organization. Today, I appreciate the communion service more than I've ever appreciated it before. When I think of all the millions of people who believe that they are Christians, but I've never experienced this. Thank you, Watchtower, that your ministry is not so effective in my country that I might have been brainwashed as a child. But most importantly... Thank you, Lord. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. In a recent video, I said that witnesses do not sing the song Amazing Grace. You know, this evening, as I participated in that communion service, the praise team, you know, led the congregation into singing a beautiful song. And I wish, man, I so wish I could have recorded this. It was just absolutely beautiful and near the end of the song I was thinking what could I do and I just pressed the record using the whatsapp app and let me tell you beforehand that the phone does not do a very good job of capturing the beauty of music that is being played live but I just want to play this for you to give you just a sense There is a hymn that we sing that says, Holy, holy is what the angels sing. And how we look forward, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm paraphrasing now, how we look forward to when we go to heaven and the praises ring. 
But when we sing redemption story, angels will have to fold their wings for they can never understand the joy that our salvation brings. Angels, perfect beings, cannot understand the joy of being a sinner saved by God's marvelous grace. And it is a very beautiful thought to think that when we sing the song of Moses and the Lamb, angels will have to fold their wings. They cannot sing about redemption because they never understand it. But it is a sad thought that witnesses really do not understand the gospel of grace. How, no matter where, how much their sin abounds, God's grace much more abounds. How it is the marvelous grace of Jesus that saves us from sin, not the approval of elders. Today, I had a fresh appreciation of what it means to be a Christian. And I thank God that my sister and I did not continue going to that kingdom hall. And witnesses, you will not like me saying this, but I say it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.